Hey everyone, it's Albert from Muffin Group and in today's tutorial I'm gonna show you how to work with custom post types inside Bay Builder. Now, before we dive in, quick note, if you're not sure how to create and manage CPTs in WordPress yet, I've already covered that in another tutorial. Just click the link up here in the top left corner and you will get the full workflow. Alright, let's not waste the time and let's jump to my screen. In this video, I'm going to build a dynamic list of vehicles where all the details like class, number of doors, gearbox type or price per day are automatically pulled in using custom fields from ACF. It is very important to remember that the fields whose values can be pulled in bBuilder using dynamic data are simple text based values fields. And at the very top of the list, I've got some additional equipment filters powered by taxonomies, so your visitors can, for example, instantly find all cars that come with air conditioning or a child seat. Pretty cool, right? So let's kick things off with the vehicle list. As I mentioned, I've already created a custom post type called cars using ACF. If I head over to all cars in the dashboard, you will see I've added a bunch of vehicles there. Now, to display those CPTs on the front end, we need to go to the Templates tab in Bifim. Scroll down and under Custom Post Types, you will see all your CPTs listed. In my case, it's cars, but of course you can add as many as you want. When I hover over my CPT name, you will notice I can create templates for both archives and single posts, just like with standard posts or pages. Let's open up the cars archive template and edit it with the BA Builder, so I can show you how it's structured. Right away, let me mention that this layout was built using the Loop Builder, an awesome feature that makes building dynamic lists a breeze. If you haven't checked out my full tutorial on the Loop Builder yet, click that link up top, it's 100% worth it. Back to BA Builder. So, if I edit the section where the cars are displayed, you will see the query loop is already turned on but the query type and post type are locked. That's because we are inside an archive template specifically for cars. Let me quickly show you how you would create a new archive template just in case. Just hit add new template, choose archive of cars from the list, give it a name and you're ready to go. Since I've already created mine, I will skip that step and head back to the template I'm working on. Now, here's what I did. I dropped a wrap and inside it, I added elements like image, some column tags, a few icon boxes and more. For the image, I'm using featured image uh, via dynamic data, but here's where the magic happens. If I click on the left column text where it says Mercedes SUV and hit the dynamic data icon, you will see I have access to all custom fields associated with this CPT. In this case, that title is pulling from the class field. But if I click for all other elements, you will see I've also added price per day, doors, gearbox type and more. And from custom fields I created in ACF. Now, let's scroll to the top of the section. Here I've added a tag cloud element to display the equipment taxonomies like GPS, cruise control, etc. These taxonomies are tied to the car CPT and were also created with ACF. So, what does it do? When I visit the offer page, which is the front and archive of the car CPT, I see my full list of vehicles. But if I click on one of the equipment tags like GPS, the page instantly filters and shows only the cars that include that feature. Super useful for user experience. Hope that everything is clear so far. If not, just let me know in the comment section and I will do my best to help you. Ok, back to the template section. Now. Let's talk about the single car template, just like before. You can create it by hitting add new template, selecting single car from the list and giving it a name. But since I've already created mine, I will just edit it. Inside, I've added a bunch of dynamic elements like a heading that pulls the template title and the price field using the price per day custom field. What's really cool is that in a single CPT template, you get access to tons of dynamic fields like the car name, equipment, fuel type and more. And that's it. 
I hope you found this tutorial helpful and I also hope you will start using custom post types in your own projects because once you get the hang of them, they open up so many powerful layout possibilities in Bitheme. And if you like this video, don't forget to check out my other tutorial where I go deep into Bitheme templates. Seriously, it's one of the most powerful features in the theme. And as always, thanks for watching and remember to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified every time we release a new video. And if you have more questions, please visit our support center at support.muffingroup.com.